game about that retarded book all of America read. How bad is it? Well, I've read cereal boxes with a greater sense of subtlety, but I promise it will not influence my review. Here's the Da Vinci Code. What the hell does this mean? Witness the greatest cover-up in human history. Millions of people duped into reading a poorly written bubblegum fiction thriller based on the sex life of Jesus. Millions more people seduced into seeing a movie based on the same book starring Tom Hanks and that guy from Onimusha 3. Now millions will follow the call to play The Da Vinci Code on their home consoles. Millions? Really? I hope not. But why? If any of you out there have Da Vinci fever, this hunk of detritus is not the cure. People say that love is blind. Da Vinci Code is part walk and click adventure game and part really crappy beat em up. Nothing says exhilarating like librarians fighting. Get away from him! The combat aspects feel out of place in a story about old books and nuns. Would you like it super size? Wait, did that card just say, would you like it super size? Would you like it super size? Wow. I get it. They want to make an already talky plot more exciting. But they could have at least made Robert and Sophie get in shape first. They run five feet and they sound like John Goodman on a Stairmaster. You may have noticed that the strapping symbologist using Chuck Norris moves on the killer monk is not Tom Hanks. P.S. Find Robert Langdon. The Da Vinci Code game doesn't even have Ian McKellen to save it. Listening to the history lectures is as boring as watching Amelie and pretending you give a crap. The fleur de lis combined with the initials P.S. Nidaba was the Sumerian goddess of learning. But the statue itself dates back to 288 B.C. They could have at least thrown in a boss battle with the Mona Lisa. Would you like it super size? <laughs> puzzle-solving elements of Da Vinci Code are actually a bright patch in the otherwise dark woods of mediocre game design. You'll search for clues and solutions to real-world problems. It smells like alcohol. Where have I smelled that before? Mmm, I'm gonna say the X-Play set. Every day. <laughs> this is one of the few games I know that requires you to learn actual code breaking. Here's an anagram for you. This game sucks. When you unravel it, it becomes... This game sucks. Throw in some shoddy graphics and you have a complete lackluster package trying to grab some of that Da Vinci cash. For a game about depraved priests, murdering albinos, naked dead guys, and Jesus knocking up his girlfriend then faking his own death to get out of child support, the Da Vinci Code just isn't that interesting. But why? Hidden in the clues left by the masters, we uncover the dark con of man. Would you like it supersized? The Da Vinci Code is just a very unsupersized two out of five. Now, if I took one thing away from the Da Vinci Code, it's that Jesus was a pimp. Mm. Well, I have now experienced the game in book, movie, game, book on tape, and commemorative plate form. And now I want to make Dan Brown pay. Now, how serious about this are you? Is this like the time you promised to eat the entrails of Ashley Judd after seeing Kiss the Girls? Yes. 